Good evening and welcome to week two. This week we are discussing change and the potential roadblocks that one may encounter. Change doesn't just happen. Individuals encouraging and effecting change must be able to identify the problem or problems, collaborate and develop interventions that improve the problem, look ahead and prepare for future problems, roadblocks, setbacks, and be a strong enough leader to guide colleagues and students into the future. Michael Fullen, a leading change expert, according to the text, has identified six secrets of change. His six secrets promote sustainable change in the creation of a learning environment. The first secret is to love your employees. Fullen encourages change makers to focus on the people involved, not simply the problems needing to be fixed. Finding a balance between managing employees and building them up increases buy-in. Encouraging staff to develop new skills, be creative, set and fulfill goals, and showing, not just verbalizing, your support is the best way to love your employees. Number two, connect peers with purpose. Change makers should encourage colleagues to interact and participate in conversations concerning the problems and potential solutions being raised. When key players connect with their peers for collaboration, everyone benefits, the institution, students, faculty, staff, and the community. Number three, capacity building prevails. Fullen recommends key stakeholders consistently encourage staff to take on leadership roles expand skill sets, and develop trusting relationships with one another. Number four, learning is the work. Leaders should model professional development and lifelong learning in order to encourage their staff to continue their learning. I particularly like this quote from the text. Successful growth itself is accomplished when the culture of the school supports the day-to-day -day learning of teachers engaged in improving what they do in the classroom and school. Number five, transparency rules. Transparency within the institution leads to more buy-in among colleagues, but transparency within the community promotes engagement in the change process. Number six, systems learn. With the development and continuous evolution of the internet and technology, the ability to share success stories, data, promising practices, exciting new tools and ideas leads to improved professional practices, leadership, and change. As change begins to occur, change makers should be on the lookout for potential roadblocks, such as statements like, this is too hard, I don't have time for this, a lack of collaboration, a directive approach, hierarchy in schools, no support, fear of change, the naysayers and the antagonists, poor professional development, and frivolous purchases. As Fullen states, change is not easy. It takes time, persistence, hard work, buy-in, and collaborative efforts. The institution I currently work for is in the midst of navigating transformational change. We are exploring approaches to student advising. Do we want a faculty-driven model, which we currently have, sort of, or a staff-driven model? This conversation has proven to be a difficult one. Many stakeholders lack the experience of different approaches to this problem and in turn cannot agree on a unified approach. There is also the unwillingness to change how advising appointments are currently being done. So I could touch on several of these secrets of change. However, I'm going to focus on the first one, love your employees. My current institution is facing a huge morale problem right now. Part of the problem includes the advising approach, but also the difference in promotion, leadership, encouragement, and development of faculty versus staff. Depending on who you ask, faculty receive many more opportunities for growth and development than do staff, as well as a shorter workday, extended breaks, and course releases to complete administrative tasks and projects. As these camp conversations are happening across campus, almost every road back, roadblock full-in lists has been stated. 
my institution has a long way to go in addressing these issues. Hopefully, the, the chapter on change and the, our conversations in class on change can um, help me be a, a better um, colleague and collaborator. Thank you for listening. I uh, look forward to the rest of the semester.